If you're looking to get into flipping houses out of state, I am here to help you, okay? This house right here, folks, I'm going to help my client, Shalem, flip this thing from out of state. My team will all do all the dirty work, right? We'll be there on the ground for you, Shalem. I'm going to try to put 22 grand in your pocket, a clear profit. And I'm going to be utilizing uh, new changes in the market and some serious mistakes made by the seller and the listing agent to try to make this happen for you. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal. You want to be here. Yeah, we're going to go out of state, but of course, you know my team's going to take care of that. Let's check it out. Welcome to the show, y'all. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you guys invest in real estate. Now, this video is for my guy Shalem, right? So if anyone out there is watching this, this, vi this video was sent to him privately a long time ago, right? If you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one to flip houses out of state after the show, click the video notes and uh, book a free call at my team because I send these out to my clients privately. Uh, then we do deals. We do the deal, and then they only get released publicly later. Now, Shalem, you're trying to do flips, and the reason you're doing them out of state is because you want to be all in for only 130000 cash. And I think I could make that happen uh, with this one. At least this is going to be one we're going to target. Now, this property is listed at 160000 okay? But <clears throat> there's a lot going on with the market right now. And these guys are screwing the pooch here, okay? It's been on the market for 124 days, right? What is that, like 30, 60, 90? Yeah, it's like over four months. And they're not going to sell it at 160. But the crazy thing is uh, 160 is not like a bad price. Like this house, reasonably uh, conditioned, is worth about 160. But these guys are not going to be able to sell it for 160. There's no way that's going to happen. Now, it's just a nice brick little bungalow in Parma. Parma is a B-grade neighborhood. Check out the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods if you know what that uh, to see what that means, right? Just a nice little area that's going to have the pricing driven by owner occupants, right? A lot of your first-time home buyers are going to be living in this area, right? And as far as the exterior, nothing major. Nice little AC unit out there. Roof looks to be fine, okay? So 160k is pretty much what this should sell for. 160k is basically what this is, and the price points are going to be mainly positioned by first-time home buyers. And that, that Shalem, that's the problem. Okay, that's where this seller went wrong. That's where this listing agent went wrong. They screwed the pooch. This property is tenant occupied. Okay, on top of that, they're not even renting it. Uh, they're not even like marketing it as a rental to investors the right way you'd market it to investors. Number one, with what properties in Parma rent for, uh, investors are not going to be paying 160000 uh, to get like a little 3-2 bungalow like this. Okay, it doesn't like pencil out. Uh, as a solid like cash flow investment, right? I should know. I've sold two hundred million dollars worth of cash flow investments in this market. That's why I say this particular property, this neighborhood, the prices are going to be driven by your your first time home buyer crowd, right? The <clears throat> seller should have removed their tenant and then marketed it as a vacant property. They didn't do that. Instead, they chose to market it to owner occupants, but. There's still a tenant there. They didn't even list the amount that the rent is, right? Even if they did, though, it really wouldn't matter uh, because the particular person who's going to actually want to buy this and be willing to pay that price is going to want a fresh, moving, ready house, right? So that's going to be our opportunity, okay? They listed it at 160 Fresh, looking good, ready to rock. That's pretty much what it would sell for, okay? What we need to do is we need to take advantage of the fact that the market has drastically slowed down, right? Because interest rates have been going way, way up, right? And if you turn on the news, everybody's like, oh, my God, we're going to have a crash. We're going to have a crash. Oh, my God, nobody's selling houses anymore, right? That should probably start to freak out the seller. That and the fact that nobody's making offers. It's been on the market for four months, right? They might be primed for a cash investor to come in and go, pow, with a low ball offer, which is exactly what we need to do, right? So if you take a look at the chart, this is how I think this could possibly play out. We bid 100K cash. Hey, we'll take it. 100K cash, no questions asked. We don't give a crap about your tenant. We'll take them. Okay? Then after that, 
we're going to need a manager for a few months till the tenant's lease expires. I don't know exactly how much that is because these guys are doing a very poor job uh, of marketing this. They don't provide any information on the tenant's lease, what they're paying, how many months. But there's probably a few months left on the lease, I would imagine. Anywhere under 12 is uh, going to be something that's totally fine with us, right? Because what we want to do is get the discount, right? We want to get that lowball offer, 100 k because nobody that actually wants to live in this sucker is going to want to move into this house. There's just way too many vacant houses on the market. Why would you bother with an occupied house? It's not going to happen, right? And hopefully the seller's getting a little bit of panic setting in so we can convince him to sell it to us for 100 k Then at that point, we just got to ride that tenant out. Holton Wise will manage it. Maybe you profit cash flow wise. Maybe you lose a couple bucks every month. Depends on what this guy has rented that uh, house to. I'm assuming, based upon how little this guy seems to know about selling a rental property, he probably doesn't know much about running a rental property. So he's probably got the thing renting for like 700, 800, right? So, uh, <clears throat> It's not really like a good cash flow investment or anything. We just got to ride that tenant out till we can remove them. Then when we remove them, we just do a nice little make ready, right? Just kind of like a rent ready, but it's really just a make ready to sell it to a first time home buyer. Nothing structural, nothing major. Just go in, clean it up, replace carpet, paint everything the same color. And maybe even if the kitchen looks like it's from 1965, we have a little bit of room uh, to upgrade that kitchen a little bit with your Home Depot Lowe's quality type fixtures, right? Taking some old looking kitchens, painting the cabinets white, putting new hardware on and getting a new countertop really goes a long way. So about 25 k at that point, we could actually get for this property what the current seller is trying to get. It's real value, which is a move-in ready, empty house for a first-time homebuyer. Then we should be able to sell it for 160, right? So at that point, you'd be paying Holton Wise 11,200 to get it done, and then you got some closing costs, right? So all told, that would be about $22,300 in your pocket. Now, this is the thing about flipping houses. You got to get the seller to agree. We're asking the seller to take a 60K haircut. I cannot guarantee you the seller will do that. I've presented to you the reasons why the seller may be willing to do that. But at the end of the day, Shalem, flipping houses is very much a numbers game. You must be willing to throw offers out there on many, many, many properties that you've done the proper due diligence on. So that's what we're going to attempt to do with this one. And then they're either going to take it. And then we're going to do the deal and you'll make a cool 22K or they won't. And we're going to move on to the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education and entertainment.